You know that feeling when you're sure you wrote something down but can't remember exactly where? Yep, that happens to me all the time. So I wanted to see if I could do something about it. So I built this, an AI assistant that can search through all my notes and files using any 10 rag and pineco. Aminius, VPS product manager here at Hostinger. And today I'll show you exactly how to build your own searchable knowledge base that answers any questions using your own content. You'll be able to chat with your notes, pull up info instantly and stop digging through endless files. Sounds good? Let's break down how it works. If you're hearing any 10 rag or pinecone and thinking, wait, what are those? Don't worry. In the next few minutes, I'll show you what they do and how they work together. Let's start with RAG, because it's what makes this whole thing powerful. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. Sounds fancy, but it's actually pretty simple. Imagine ChatGPT taking an open book test. Instead of guessing, it looks through your notes before answering. That's what RAG does. It gives your AI assistant access to your knowledge so it can answer questions using the information you already have. Without RAG, AI only relies on what it was trained on. With RAG, it can pull real data from your files and notes, so every answer is accurate and personal. To make a project work, we'll be using three main tools. First one is NA10, our visual automation tool that connects everything together. Think of it as the control room where we'll build the entire workflow. The second tool is Pinecone, our smart database that stores and searches your notes based on meaning, not just words. So even if you ask a question in a completely different way, it still finds the right information. And finally, OpenAI. It handles the language side. It reads your data and crafts the final answer. Basically, it's what makes your assistant sound natural. And now that we've got the big picture, let's see how this actually comes together. We'll build everything inside any 10 hook it up to the pinecone to store our notes and use OpenAI to make it conversational. So first, you'll need any 10 running on a Hostinger VPS. If you haven't set this up yet, check out our previous any 10 tutorials in the description of the video. We've covered the installation process in detail there. Before we build anything in any 10, grab your API keys. You'll need two, an OpenAI API key from platform openai.com. This is for the embeddings and chat models a Pinecone API key from pinecone.io. They have a free tier that's perfect for getting started. Keep them handy because we'll be adding them to any 10 in just a moment. Okay, so basically I have this workflow that I created for myself. And the first thing we have is actually two uh, triggers. One is when a Google Drive file is created and another one when a Google Drive file is updated. Those two actions trigger this workflow. So to set it up, you can simply connect your Google Drive credentials to the NA10 itself. And then we select the folder we want to check to keep a track on. So we select a rack documents folder. I have this prepared. So imagine this folder as your personal knowledge base, right? So everything you want to be searchable, you put those files into this exact folder. So in this case, any 10 tracks any changes that happens in rack documents folder. As you can see, watch for file created. And another one is watch for file updated. And as you can see, the poll times are every minute. That's it. Once the workflow is triggered, the second thing is that we download the file from this Google Drive uh, folder. Then after we have this file downloaded to our NA10 workflow, the next thing is to connect the Pinecone Vector Store. What is a Vector Store and what is Pinecone exactly? So for this, I will try to explain as simple as possible. First thing you have to do is to create a Pinecone account. So let's do that right now. Once you create a Pinecone account, you'll need to create an API key for your Pinecone account. And don't worry, Pinecone has a free tier and those limits are pretty high, so it's perfect for this example. Okay, so once you have your API key, let's get back to any 10 and add a new credential for Pinecone API. You just simply paste your API key here, you save it, and once you connect your credentials, the next thing to do is to create a Pinecone index. 
So to do that, we go to Pinecone again, search for database, and then create index. Here we type a name, so I will name it Rec Documents. So for configuration, we should select text embedding free small by OpenAI. And what is a text embedding? So imagine you've got this uh, whole information of text coming into the pinecone, but it should be converted to vector instead. And basically OpenAI has this embedding model that does exactly that. And for dimensions, we should select 1536 instead of 512 option, just because it has more numbers in the vector itself, meaning it can store more data inside a vector. For other settings, just leave it as it is because it's a free tier so we do not have a lot of options here and once you're ready press create index and see how your database is being created and now you have a new database that can actually store vectors and as you can see there's no records yet so let's create them get back to any 10 pinecone vector store and as you can see there's operation mode insert documents and pinecone index Choose from list and you should see your newly created database. So just simply select that. And for the next step, what you need to do is to connect Pinecone Vector Store to OpenAI Embedding Model. We can do that by simply choosing one and connect an OpenAI account as credentials. And then for model, we select text embedding free small. That's it. You have connected your Pinecone Vector Store with OpenAI's embedding model. And the next thing you need to do is to connect the full data loader to your Pinecone Vector Store. And what it essentially does is just takes your file that was uploaded or updated in the Google Drive. It extracts all of the data, all of the text. And as you can see, we have a recursive character text splitter, which basically just extracts the text from the file. So in this case, we have chunk size of 1000. So it means 1000 characters. And then chunk overlap means that uh, there's an overlap overlap between the indexes. So there we have a new workflow that listens for your newly created or updated files in the Google Drive and automatically uploads them to the Pinecone index database and store those files as vectors so that your AI could search more easily and more efficiently throughout all of your files. And now let's move to the second part of this workflow because it's not done yet. So now imagine that we have this database that has all of our information. Right now we need to connect the chatbot to this database so that we can interact with the files and with the nodes that we have, right? So the first thing is a pretty simple one. We add a chat trigger that we connect to AI agent. Straightforward. I have prepared a simple system message prompt for my AI agent for it to more understand what is the context about that we are trying to retrieve documents from the uh, database and for it to search for accurate and informative answer. And if it doesn't find the answer, just to reply, I cannot find the answer in the available resources. So that is the main job of the AI agent. Uh, let's see what we also have here. So I connected the OpenAI chat model. It's a simple model. We use GBT 4.1 mini. Then we add a window buffer memory and we set the context window length to five just for it to have a simple memory of what we chat about. Then for tools, we also connect vector store tool and we set the data name to company documents tool. And in description of data, we can uh, write something like retrieve information from any company documents. And in the AI agent itself, in the system prompt, we can specifically say to use this company documents tool. And one of the last things that we need is once again, pine cone vector store, but this time as a retrieval and as a tool. So we connect the same account of Pinecone to this node. Then the operation mode is set to retrieve documents as vector store for chain or tool. And then Pinecone index, we select from list rack documents. If you connected your credential, it should appear automatically. Then we also connect embeddings of OpenAI, the same as we used uh, in the previous workflow and we select the same model. That is a crucial step because in all of the database, we must use the same model in every step. 
And there we have it. We have a complete two part workflow that one part reads the documents and stores them directly in the Pinecone database. And for the second part, we have a natural language chatbot that we can interact with to search through all of our files and notes for the specific text that we are looking for. So in this case, let's test out what we have created. In this case, I executed the workflow uh, of Google Drive file created. And in the folder itself, I uploaded two different files. And once we execute it, as you can see, we have downloaded the file from Google Drive. There's one item here. Uh, we successfully ran Pinecone Vector Store. The embedding was used. It parsed all of the files. And let's move to the Pinecone dashboard once again. And uh, there you have it. Uh, the record count is eight, meaning that the file was successfully split up and uh, those vectors were created successfully. So that is the first part, right? In this case, let's open a chat and say, hey, what was the name of the product manager? We press enter and we see that it uses Pinecone Vector Store and we got the answer, the name of the product manager is Minius. As you can see, it used the file from our folder it looked for the information we were asking for and then using vector store database it ranked all of the relevant information and gave you the right response without hallucinating and to give you another example let's say i ask what was the last video script about uh, i'm talking about the last video that i had talking about claude code sub agents and let's see if it knows uh, what I'm talking about. The last video script was about Claude Code sub agent system. So that's exactly what I mean. And in this example, your AI assistant isn't hallucinating or making things up. Now you have your own AI assistant thanks to NA10, RAG and Pinecone. You've just created a practical tool that you can use every single day to search through your own notes, work documents, research summaries for your projects or anything else. And if you're interested in more NA10 videos, don't forget to check out our playlist, which includes your NA10 personal assistant workflow. Let us know in the comments down below what you're going to build with RAG. Is it a customer support board for your business or a research assistant for your PhD? I'd love to hear all of your ideas. And don't forget to like, subscribe so you don't miss what's next. We're only scratching the surface with AI automation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.